Hello everyone, this is Casey with CMB Music Productions and Light Scene Effects doing a quick video on setting up your 3D visualizer in LumaDesk. Um, ultimately, to use your offline 3D visualizer effectively, you've got to make sure that it's set up correctly. So there's a few steps that you need to take before you get started recording to make sure that the orientation of your light fixture is set up properly uh, in the 3D visualizer for when you're going to be using it in real life. Um, because what can happen is the orientation of your fixture in the um, 3D visualizer can be uh, the opposite of the way you set it up, as in the pan and tilt. Um, you might be programming movements to the left in the 3D visualizer, but when you plug everything up in real life, everything is panning to the right. So uh, to make sure that you are set up and configured properly, you need to at least do a little bit of, uh, at least for your first time uh, getting into 3D offline programming, you need to uh, uh, do a couple of setups uh, and, and uh, set up your fixture and make sure that it's rendering correctly in your 3D visualizer. Once you uh, do this a few times, you get to know your fixtures. Um, if you create more than one show um, for your setups and whatnot, you'll have different stages and you'll have to do it for each stage. So. Anyway, so I'm going to walk you through this. So I've got a Martin Minimac profile set up. Uh, you'll need to check the bottom of your moving heads if that's what you're using. Scanners are usually a little easier. Uh, not such a big deal uh, for this process, but um, moving heads especially, you got to make sure they're pointed in the right direction. Um, some moving heads, they uh, underneath on the underside, it has a sticker with an arrow. Uh, indicating the front of the fixture. This is the front of the Martin Minimac profile and Martin Minimac washes. Um, some fixtures they may not have those indicators. Um, in that case, just you know, do what you got to do. Um, so we've got it oriented the right way, uh, facing front, our target, which is going to be the wall. Um, it's set uh, sitting straight up on on the table, um, and. Depending upon how you're going to set this up, if, if you're going to be setting these up on totems, this is how you would want it uh, to set it up. But if you're going to be hanging it, um, you'll need to hang it from your truss or uh, T-bar or, you know, whatever the case is, you know, set it up um, so that there's not any confusion as far as uh, the orientation and what you intend on doing. Set it, set it up once like you need it, like you want to set it up at your gigs and that way we can verify um, you know which way everything's going to be going so I've got it all uh, connected as you can see I already got it patched in LumaDesk so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the 3D visualizer and we're going to patch it in the 3D adds it so there we have our Martin Mini Mac profile as you can see it is uh, upside down in a hanging position, and it's facing the opposite way that we are facing in real life. So what do you do? Um, again, this is totally up to you. You Every time you log in, you can, you know, and start programming, you can change the orientation. It all depends on how you set up the room in here as to what you want to do, okay? But you can rotate the room, change your point of view, all kinds of cool stuff. So for these purposes, I'm actually going to, um, I actually want to rotate this fixture so we can have it identical to what our actual fixture is doing. So I'm going to go into construction mode, and then I'm going to click on the fixtures tab, and there it lists our mini Mac fixture. I'm going to click on that, and it turns it red or some kind of orange. Um, so obviously that is not what we have set up in real life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it using these uh, dials here. I'm just going to click it. And now it's pointed in the same direction. Okay. So that's step one. So now um, let's go and let's see what that does. Shrink this down a little bit. So we've got it pointed in the right direction, but the pan is opposite. Our actual fixture is panning left, 
and in the 3D visualizer it is panning right. So what do you do? That's the next step. I'm going to open up our construction mode again and click on the fixtures tab, click on the fixture that we want, and we're going to come over here to this side right here. Here you have invert pan and invert tilt. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert our pan. We go back to user mode. Shrink it down. Now let's pan and tilt and see what we get. Right, left, right, left. Now what I've inverted is the pan on the light fixture. This, uh, what you do in the 3D visualizer has nothing to do with your actual programming. You're not inverting the pan or tilt in the programming. That is done on the desktop right here where you right click on the fixture and pan and tilt settings. Uh, that's your uh, programming. Um, what we're altering here is the rendering. You're in, inverting the rendering that the 3D visualizer produces for you. So that now, as you can see, obviously, the fixture is set up like we want it from the same point of view and is doing the same thing as our real fixture is. So it's important to do that to have uh, the most effectiveness with your offline programming because otherwise you think you're programming one thing and you get to your gig and it's, it's going to be opposite of what you think. And then you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to change everything and you're going to be frustrated and everything. So um, if you have any questions or comments, post them on uh, down below. And if you're interested in Lumidesk or American DJ products, visit our website, lightscenefx.com. Again, that's lightscene, the letters fx.com. Thanks for watching.